If you leave the front nails long, they will literally start to walk and the nails in the bone will actually start to kind of twist as well. Hi, I'm Saskia from Los Angeles Guinea Pig Rescue and this is Millhouse. he's my personal boo. And he's actually eating some mint right now that I just freshly plucked for him. Minty freshness? I am going to be answering some questions today. And I've got a little cheat sheet here and I'm going to just start from the top. The first one, how long do guinea pigs live? How long? I'm going to live forever. The average lifespan is between five to eight years old. So, you know, around six, six and a half, that would be like a good age for a guinea pig. And it all depends, you know, it depends on genetics, it depends on how well they're cared for, the food they've been given, if, you know, the, the proper guidelines were followed, all of that has influence on the lifespan of a guinea pig. So, yes. Next question. Oh, I like this one. I know you're gonna love this one. How much do guinea pigs eat? Well, they call them pigs for a reason, right? I just love to eat. I do, I do think that that's what the name comes from because they do tend to eat like pigs. They love food. They are grazed animals, they eat all day long, so you wanna make sure you always have food in the cage. Uh, hay, pellets, and then you, feed, well we feed lots of greens if you do in the evening time. So dinner time, they get a big salad with maybe three, four, even five different things. I've got some food here, which would make like a great dinner. Um, you know, and a nice batch like this. I mean, they eat a lot, guys. That would actually be a meal. Uh, and if your guinea pig is eating dinner, or his greens, and he's finished in five minutes, then you gotta feed a little more because I think that at least he should be eating greens for a solid 10 to 15 minutes a day um, if you're feeding them enough. Okay. Are guinea pigs good starter pets? Well, that's a, that's a difficult one. Yes, they can be, but only if the parents of the children are really involved and love the idea of having guinea pigs. If it's just for the kids and the parents are just not really that interested and just kind of leave it on the side and leave it to the children, it's not going to work out. So it will not be a nice, easy starter pet. But if you, as the parent, are interested and love the idea, then absolutely, you know, there's a lot of learning and growing to be had uh, in the family by adopting guinea pigs into your home. So, how big does my cage need to be? I love this one. So pet stores generally do not sell the proper sized cages. They don't. Um, very odd, you think, but that's just the way it is. So I always say they need a cage, even if you have one guinea pig and two or two or even one, three by two feet would be the minimum. So the nice cages are the ones that you can build yourself, both the C and C cages, cubes and coroplast. So it is those organizing cubes and the plastic sheets that you can build your own cage, but there's also companies that online that build the, that, that have the whole kit all built for you. They can ship it to you and it's easy to set up. So those are the better cages. So the ones in the pet stores, I'm telling you, very odd, but they honestly are not even the biggest one. They say, ooh, XL Deluxe. It usually is not big enough. So do your research on that, right? Research is good. What type of bedding is best? Well, that depends on your personal preference. There's a bunch of different beddings that are great. So some people like uh, fleece liners. There is uh, shavings, pine shavings, um, dry, uh, kiln dried pine shavings that are not dusty. Uh, Small Pet Select has a fantastic selection of all kinds of bedding. They even have like a paper bedding with shavings mix. They have just paper bedding. They really have a wonderful selection. So it really is what you personally prefer. And my next question. How often do guinea pigs need nail trims? That's a good one. I'd say at least every six to eight weeks you want to take a look and trim their nails. Don't let the nails overgrow because it becomes really ouchy. And if you leave the front nails long, they will literally start to walk and the nails in the bone will actually start to kind of twist as well. 
because the nails are so long, which then in turn can give them arthritis. So you want to be on top of that. If you don't know how to do it yourself, there are videos, tutorials online that you can um, learn from. Uh, your veterinarian might be able to help you with that, or even a local rescue might be able to help as well. So, but it's not that difficult, it really isn't. Okay, next one. What are the top three most common illnesses with guinea pigs? Well, let's say, uh, let's see. I would say upper respiratory infections are fairly common, especially in young baby guinea pigs that are bought from the pet store. Unfortunately, this has been my experience that a lot of them are not well, but a lot of them are sick. That is probably my number one. Now, number two would be parasites and fungus. So they can have things like lice, uh, mange mites, and fungal infections like ringworm. I have had ringworm 11 times. I will roll in anything. All those sounds, sound really horrible, but they're really easy to treat, actually. Super easy to treat. So don't get, you know, turned off our guinea pigs because of that. But they just, you know, they tend to be prone to that. But as I said, super easy fixes for all of that. Um, and then the other one would be uh, urinary tract infections. That is something that guinea pigs can get. Um, and that can be helped also with a visit to the vet. But again, don't be scared off because every pet will have a list like this, you know? So guinea pigs are no different in that respect. Here, I'm trying to find more mint for you. You just plowing through that? Unbelievable, he loves it so much. <laughs> All right, next one. How often do guinea pigs need a bath? A bath is super, super important and essential for your guinea pig. It keeps them healthy. It keeps like the, the, the dead skin cells are washed away, the, all the old hair, you know, because yeah, you can have a little hair come off the guinea pig, but if you wash them, um, it will come loose and it will all sort of wash away with the water when you're washing out the shampoo. And again, you'll find lots of tutorials on how to do baths on guinea pigs. And also, what's really important when you do a bath, that you wash the face. So you'll read online that there are like some people that believe that guinea pigs should not have baths. Wait, like never? And I am absolutely a believer that they should. I think it keeps them healthy. I mean, you give your dogs a bath for that same reason you give a guinea pig a bath because they do get dirty. <laughs> they do. Yes, you do. Maybe another reason they call them pigs. Hmm. <laughs> Can guinea pigs graze outside? Can you? Absolutely. They love that. They absolutely love it. Yeah, I've always been a bit of an outdoorsman. Guinea pigs love, love, love eating fresh grass. You know what I always say, it is free food because grass is something they all, all guinea pigs love. And you can put a pan up, and put them outside on the grass, make sure that you have something over the top because you don't want any predators from ahead coming in. So you always want to keep an eye on them. Do not ever leave your guinea pigs outside unattended. Um, but absolutely, you just put them on the grass and they'll just go to town. They'll be so happy and so healthy because it's very good for them. How much does a vet visit cost? Oof, okay. Well, sadly, a lot, but all vet visits are expensive. And guinea pigs, just because they're smaller, does not mean that their bill is going to be cheaper. And that's something that a lot of people sometimes think, oh, it's just a guinea pig, how much can it be? Unfortunately, the bills for a guinea pig can be just as much as a dog and a cat, if not more at times. So what I always recommend is look into getting insurance, just like you can for dogs and cats. Um, you can find insurance for guinea pigs. And I highly recommend that because especially after they reach the age of two, you know, some things up until then they're young, you know, it's, it's not likely they're gonna really get something very serious, but um, if they do, you're gonna wanna be covered. So, right? Insurance is key. Yeah, he's got health insurance. He does? Yeah, you're covered. Should have got that insure guy go for your money. That was it, my 10 questions. I hope that that was helpful. Thank you so much on behalf of me and my mail house. <laughs> mail house. You say goodbye to everybody. Looks like where's my men, mom? <laughs> Thank you. You're a good boy. Thanks everybody.